Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention please? Welcome to Tokyo. Today, we'd like to introduce to you the town of... Ueno, where Japanese and Western culture meet. Ueno is one easy train ride from Narita Airport and easily accessible from central Tokyo. The site of a large park welcomes you to the station. And in the spring, tourists from all over the world flock here to see the park's cherry trees in bloom. National museums dot the area, which has been known as a center of arts and culture for generations. Today we'll be guided around Ueno by... Welcome to Ueno. My name's Samuel Thomas and I'm a fashion journalist based in the city. Samuel came to Japan from England five years ago to share Tokyo fashions with the world. Now, most tourists that end up coming to the Ueno area mainly go to the museums and the art galleries. But the area that I want to show you, it's called Ameyoko and fairly fair price. In fact, I'd be really surprised if you could find anywhere cheaper in all of Japan. After World War II, Ameyoko sprang up as a black market. You'll find shops selling food, clothing, and various other goods lining its 400-meter street. There are more than 400 shops that draw on customers with their inexpensive prices. It's easy to see the appeal of the low prices at this snack shop. Welcome to Tokyo. Thank you. England. England. Okay. He keeps filling the bag with chocolates. You can buy almost three times the amount the same price would get you elsewhere. Now, have a look inside here. This is how much we managed to get for a thousand yen. And that's the Ueno shopping experience. People have fun looking for bargains at Ameyoko. See you again. The area has long been known for its American culture, with lots of shops carrying American goods. Of the many products available, Japanese craftsmen have developed leather goods and silver accessories, which they add their own original styles to. Ueno always used to be the place where you'd come for high quality imported leather. But recently what's been catching my eye is leather from Japanese craftsmen, all made in Japan using Japanese leather. I want to introduce you today to some of my favorite shops in the Ueno area, we're going to start here. This is a leather shop, Albuquerque. Here you can find items made by Japanese craftsmen. Many of the world's top brands are paying attention to the Japanese leather goods that can be found here. Now, take a look at this. And sure, that's beautiful, but the real charm is what happens as it ages. Japanese craftsmen are highly skilled in the tanning and conditioning of leather. This creates the beautiful changes that take place as the leather ages. Now, it's just the natural oils and daily use that just builds up to this beautiful, uh, well, what we say in English, patina. In Japanese, say aji, literally flavor. So as it gets older, it improves in flavor. Their techniques let the beauty shine through after years of use. Being able to discover craftsmanship like this is one attraction of Ameyoko. Finally, I want to introduce you to Yoshoku. I wonder how many of you have heard of that. Now, of course, you have Western food and you have Washoku, Japanese food. But Yoshoku sits between the two of them. Yoshoku is Western cuisine such as beef stew and hamburger steak arranged to suit Japanese tastes. The first Yoshoku restaurant opened in Ueno some 140 years ago. Now I've heard that Ueno is meant to be especially good for Yoshoku, so today I thought I'd go and eat some for myself. Okay. Today, Samuel will introduce us to Kitchen Sakurai. 
It uses premium ingredients to cook up authentic yoshoku dishes. One of its most popular yoshoku dishes is this. Omurice or omelet rice is an original Japanese dish inspired by the omelet. Seasoned rice is wrapped in a tender omelet. And it takes great skill to make sure the omelet doesn't tear during preparation. The dish is finished off with a demi-glace sauce that's been simmered for 10 days. Omurice is a dish that is loved by young and old alike. Okay, let's tuck in. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, I've got to say that is very good. Very, very light and fine. I've never really had an omelette before where you put rice in the middle. I really like the spirit of Japanese cookery that leads to um, dishes like this. For me, that's the spirit of Bueno, and that's why I think you should pay it a visit. Once you've got the extra information, you can find Extra Tokyo.